Keith. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Are you going to go play block around tonight? Yeah, you going to come along? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Okay, Keith and Kevin here for Beat the Casino. Listen, Kevin's got some stuff he's just got to tell you about. So we had a, uh, you know, I'm just going to throw it over to Kevin. Kevin, you're all excited about this, I know. Hey, Keith, I am Go really ahead. excited about this. Um, about a month ago, I get started trying something to make the best of two worlds come together at the Black Rod table. And right. I'm, I've, it's been very successful for me. I have uh, showed a number of our membership how to do it, and they're excited yeah. about it. And so let me explain what it is. You know, about, uh, oh, it's been about seven years ago, uh, we came up with the concept uh, called 4D. Right, and what right. 4D is four disparities, basically banker, player, uh, counting one back, which is, you know, some people call opposite repeat, counting two back, people call it different things, and then counting three back after yeah. every hand, which helps you make decisions going forward as to what disparity, if any, is winning that shoe and yeah. how to decide what to you know, when to make the next bet. Exactly. Well, about three years ago, I came up with another methodology called V87, which is visual 87. And 87 refers to the fact that ones, twos, and threes in a row before they stop and change are 87% of everything that happens over a course of time in exactly. block run. Okay. Yeah, certainly are one of our most popular ways to play. So by putting these two things together, Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit rates in the mid 60s. Wow. Uh, then all the hit rate is, is how many bets I win versus how many bets I make. And yeah. I do not bet, I need to say that I do not bet every hand in the no. shoe. Putting these two things together shows me how to make the better and best bets and yeah. when not to bet. Yeah, it's, okay. it's dynamic. Uh, it's know. just, it's very dynamic. And it's, yeah, uh, it's so we've incredible. got, we've got a shoe that I, I played. Do. Uh, you know, yeah. just the other day uh, here at a local casino here in Las Vegas. I live in Las Vegas. I think you folks out there know that. And, um, you know, I play almost every day. And, uh, you know, I thought, geez, if we could share this with you, I think you're going to see how dynamic this is. OK, let me let me I, I did put it in. Uh, I worked it up here for you. Can you see that, Kevin? Absolutely. Let me go to hand one there. I, I put it in. Yeah, that's, style here. Let, let me explain. That is the scorecard for everybody yes. looking. That is the scorecard uh, that we developed for this. Yes. Okay. And what it does, is, again, the, the banker player uh, shows the, the tote board. Yeah. Okay. They're at the top. Down below, it shows the banker player broken down into events. Events yeah. of one, they switch. Two in a row, they switch. Three, they switch, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And then the O1 and T1, that's basically just counting one back. It's either on the opposite line up on the top that you see where the tilt board is, or it's right. on the same line. Opposite two back, the same as two back. It's on the opposite line or the same line. Opposite three back or the same as three back. It's on the, th it's either opposite the th three back, one, two, three back, right. or it's on the same line. Okay. Okay. The V87 side of it breaks Over down here. between player and banker. Does a one stay one? And then it, it you know becomes a confirmed one. Right. Does it instead go to two? And now it's an unconfirmed two. Then does the two stay two, becoming a confirmed two in a row because it's switched to the other side? Uh, does the two go to three? Okay. Now we got an unconfirmed three. What happens with the three? It yeah. either stays three or it goes to four or more. All we're concerned about. But we're yeah. concerned by breaking down the banker and player separately. Yeah, okay. As you do. From the whole yeah. game, you'd be amazed sometimes the difference in the results. Oh, yeah. yeah and it points, it points you where to make the bets. By yeah, combining it's, these two things. It's crazy. It's it's so good. And, 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 you know, folks really love this scorecard, too. I do want to say, too, that, of course, both of these uh, both of these approaches to track these statistics are both in the Ultimate Baccarat app, too. So, But we have a great thread going on. This is designed for the folks who like to play tables, and this is a scorecard for it. And I know everybody loves it. They're asking me to send them uh, copies of just the scorecard, for goodness sakes. But anyway... Um, so we have hand one up here, Kevin, and I put a slash in. The first hand was a banker, uh, and uh, we we marked it up here. If you want to, what hand do you want me to go through, or how do you want to go through this here to explain it well, to everybody? Well, uh, yeah, uh, obviously you can't have an uh, opposite or a, a T the same as uh, no. until you have the second hand. So let me put okay. that up. So there's the second hand, and uh, here's the uh, you change side. So I put a slash here for okay. the banker. Uh, and then there's one banker 
and there's one player. So this is the tally, right. correct? And then, of course, if, and this is real easy to keep track of, too. Yeah. One back one back was an opposite. So it's right on an here, opposite line. It's on, it's on the an opposite, opposite line. It, it, it's on the, yeah. at the top. It's on the opposite line. It's on the opposite line. Yeah, some people like to do this. To your point, all you have to look at is the line. Is that, it, just look at the line. Right. You don't have to think. You don't even have to. If you can count <laughs> one, two, three, <laughs> right. which I think right. a good background player can do pretty good, <laughs> pretty and, well. And, and for those who get the 4D and the 5D download that we have in the link below, you know, this is how Kevin actually tracks it in the casino. And this is very easy. Now, listen, I don't want to get sidetracked. I'm sorry. But over on the right hand side, Kevin, is the V87. Uh, and of course, we marked up one stayed one on the banker side. That's correct. It became confirmed. Okay, confirmed. Okay, so we'll put in a couple more. Here's hand three. Mm -hmm. um, again, it was a player. You can see we put it up here in the scorecard two slashes for two players. The tally goes to two on player, stayed at one. Um, and of course, it's the same as one back. So we're going to put that right here. Okay. Right. And it's opposite for two back. And of course, yeah, sure, you can see how you count two back from the third hand. You go yep. back to the second hand and the first hand, that's counting two back. Right. And uh, we, we marked up one there. And uh, of course, over here uh, on the V87 side, the one went to two. Mm -hmm. on the player which is hand two and three so that's right you want to see hand four here yeah let's see hand four okay there you go i'll throw it over to you then go ahead kevin whatever you want to comment here yeah again another player okay yep. so again if we count one back it was a player on the same line okay so that's the t1 if we count yeah. two back it was a player two back if you count two back from the fourth hand uh you get to the second hand again that was a player so that's the same as two back and then if you count three back, okay, it was an opposite because it was yeah. a bank. So it was on the opposite opposite line if you count one, two, three back. Yep. Yep. One, two, three back. And then on the V87 side, the two on the player side went to three. That's correct. So there it is. So yeah, we're getting, we're only ahead. at the fourth hand, Kate. But yeah. let's kind of flash forward now and let's go to like, I don't know, hand 15, hand 20, somewhere in there. Okay. Here's. Uh, Okay, there's hand 17, Kevin. Okay. So uh, just tell me, you know, how you marked it. And well, I, I, again, uh, it should come up for you there. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're at hand 17. Uh, hand 16 was this. And then hand 17, it went over to player. Right. Uh, and, uh, of course, we marked it up again. We did one uh, one back, of course, was the opposite. Well, first, we'd, we'd mark up another player. Uh, one back was an opposite. Uh, the 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 two back was the same as, and the three back was an opposite. Uh, and and the V eighty seven we marked up on the uh, banker side. Another one went to one, of course. Right now, a, a couple things here, Kevin. If you want to talk about these numbers and how how you do that with your uh, yeah with your calculation for four D and and how that's significant because it might confuse. Well, the well yeah. Oh, so I'll just ask you to, for the everybody. The banker total now is what? And show them where it is, circle it, or think of, you know. Yep, now. okay, I'll do that. Banker yep. total is? Uh, we're on, on the uh, total sum, right. we're up to seven. Seven, okay, and on the player side? Uh, we're at 10. Okay, so the disparity there is only three. Not very yeah. much, not too not much, very much Even that's no. at 17 hands, okay? Yep. Okay, how about on the, uh, the O1 and T1? Uh, the 01, we're actually up to nine. Uh, we, okay. we, we got the running total here, and then the T1 is at seven still. Again, not a whole lot of information. Right. Okay. So I would say at this point, uh, not much to see. Not much Go to ahead. see. Uh, here we have six uh, for O2, mm -hmm. and then uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, for T2. Okay. So only, only three. Yeah, only three, but again, as a percentage, it's getting higher. You know, yep, uh, nine to six is you know higher. Go ahead. Now uh, here, I think we're getting something, Kevin. Here, here we're seeing some disparity. Here we're at ten and four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, a little bit more there, okay. right? Okay. Yeah, that's that's where that's getting into betting territory now. Yeah, that that may be getting okay. into some betting territory. But, but let's use what the uh, V eighty seven is telling us. Okay, so the V87 now, one stays one on the banker side, occurred four times. And how many times did it go to two? 
only one time. So only got, one time. Yeah, and only one time. Disparity and, of three. Okay. So, and what's happened on the player side? Uh, pretty much a uh, level set. Everything's pretty much even up. One stayed one, one went to two. Now, of course, you got to look at what didn't occur, too. Uh, there were no twos stayed two. Uh, two went to three one time. Three went to three one time and four went to four. I think the most significant is two stayed two never happened on the player side yet. Yep, yep. So, so. Uh, obviously, th that being significant, we're going to say that, you know, it's going to it's going to go back to the bank. OK, right. first off, if you can't use our disparities, it says it's going to go back to the bank. OK, yeah. um, now, again, I'm not using banker and player. I'm using yeah. the O ones, T's and uh, or an O2 and T2 yeah. and O3 and T3. I'm looking at those and I, all of a sudden uh, we're starting to see the V87 is starting to show some life and show us what's really happening in the shoe. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's going to go back to it's going to jump up the banker again. Okay, let's see what happened. Here's hand 18. I want to click it. Okay, it did actually go to banker then. Absolutely. So there, there you go. So you're using all these statistics. And and, and, and and again, this is real easy to do in the casino at, at casino speed at a table with just the slash marks. It's a brilliant way that you came up with to, to track all this. And it's so it's like descriptive statistics. It's you can glance at it and see what you're doing. Uh, and see what's going on. It just just really quickly and and sum up what's the best bet to make. Uh, Keith, I get I get purchase. people standing behind me. Yeah, <laughs> I know. People next to me are going, "What are you doing?" Okay, yeah. the 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 uh, uh, dealer and the floor manager. You know, the, uh, some people call them pit bosses, the floor manager, right. whatever you call them. They're standing there looking at me like, "What are you writing down?" Right. And I say, "Well, there's the tote board up at the top." And there's all these other things. All it is is mathematically what's going on in the game. Yeah, and it's say, they all do this. And I go, they go, okay. And they, you know. <laughs> well, this is great stuff to understand. One, one of the things that, you know, some folks combine this stuff and they call it OR count and stuff like that. But I think the genius of it, Kevin, is that you left the granularity, especially with the O1 and T2, you can just simply look at it. Mm -hmm. and know what's going on rather than combine it. You know, in this case, it would be a, a minus three count, you know, with opposites and repeats. It's easier just to look at it. And, and the way you sum it up after you get five, you recalculate everything. It keeps you current in the game. So it's a really great way, man. And if you want to really learn how to play this, we got a really great thread going on right now in the premium forum uh, at Beat the Casino. And guys are really uh, cleaning up with this. Uh, hey, hey, here's the important thing, Keith. This is go based ahead. on mathematics. This is based on, I, I used to call it fifth grade math. Maybe it's, it's they teach this at first grade now. Okay. If you can keep track of the math, simple math, by the way, you know, yeah. uh, 10 is bigger than right. 7, uh, 6 is less than 12. Yeah, it's not rocket science. It isn't rocket science. But nobody gets this. You know, yeah. no, I mean, so nobody's, very few people are doing this. They're looking yeah. at the board going, uh, well, yeah. uh, last time the banker was a one, uh, it went to a two. But they're not looking back and saying, well, that was only the one time. Yeah, the five yeah. times previous to that, it stayed one. It stayed one. Uh, you know, I, yeah. I played yesterday at Wind Creek, and the same thing happened. I had a friend along who's never played, you know, and he's looking back, and he says, well, I would bet back. I said, what for? There's no disparity. I said, look, man, and we ran into a good game where twos were staying two. So every time – uh, I, I got on the banker side where there was a one in a row. I always bet it went to two. I picked up six units in the game, which I said, that's a huge win. That's a great, uh, win. you know, for, for when that disparity went to that. So, yeah, I mean, this is how you play the game. Well, let, let me click it ahead here. You can go, see. Go, to, go to like 38. You don't want to see like around, around, you know, that's around the middle of the shoe. Uh, by the way, we're not keeping track of ties. Okay. No, no we're not. Okay. There's hand uh, 39, Kevin. Okay. So let's just go, let's take them one at a time. What's the, what's the tote board tell us or how, what's the banker player count there right below it? Yeah. Our, our banker player count, it's 19 and our, 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 our Rob, forgive me, our bank, our banker count is 19. Our player count would be 20 at this point. So not much there. Uh, there's not much there. There's okay. nothing there. There's okay, so how about the uh, O1 and T1? Now this is where it gets interesting <laughs> here, I think. Here you got an O1 count of 23 and a T1 count of 15. Now that's some significant disparity. That's significant. That you yeah. know, out of 38 hands, okay, or 38 previous hands, okay, you're talking to just, you know, 
the the opposite side, okay, versus the same, uh, which would be a repeat in some people's world. Um, uh, you know, it's twenty three to fifteen. You right. can bet. I'm watching that all the way from, you know, when we were back on hand 17 or whatever, I've been watching yeah. this and I've been making bets according to this information. Let's yep. go see. Let's see what the uh, other disparities are doing. Well, uh, on the O2 and T2, which is two back pretty tight, uh, almost the same as your banker player. We have 18 and 19 and O3, just a little bit, 23 to 14. Well, that's kind of significant. Actually. That is significant. Yeah. 23 What's to 22, forgive me, 22 to 14. So. Okay, so again, there's eight. So there's if, you eight. Take, if you just look back at 01 and 03, you're starting to realize that's where the money is right now. That's yeah. what's winning this shoe. Yeah, this it's is not like it is banker and player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and that's all folks you just look at. going like this, you know, like yeah. ping pong or whatever they call it. Right. We're, we're digging deeper in the statistics for the disparities. And to your point, hey, it's it's 01 and T1 and O3 and T3. Looking over at V87, too, to further qualify it, what do we have here? Well, one stayed one, what, seven times on the banker side? One stayed one seven times on the player side, and about four or five times one went to two. So uh, a little bit of information there, but I think you know your O1 and your O3 stuff is really sticking out for us here, Kevin. Oh, what's what's happening with the twos and the threes? Uh, on the twos and threes... We have two state two, uh, three times on banker, and two went to three two times. On the player side, two state two, only one time, and two went to three three times. So a little tight. Uh, the most significant one probably would be there's no three went to four on the banker side. So uh, every three, and there were two of them up here, uh, two chances to do it, never went to four yet. So. And let's watch that as we move forward. What happens okay. to the threes? Okay, so let's go. Yeah, go out. Yeah, go out to like hand uh, fifty. You know what I mean? Uh, that's right. about uh, two thirds of the shoe. There we go. So hand fifty, uh, and and it's just interesting. Notice that the banker players stayed about stayed about the same. We the disparities, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, twenty five to twenty five. Here we have again the O one and T one still taken off. So all you had to do was bet them. What uh, what what was O one on here? Thirty two. I mean, okay, and T one, uh, seventeen. So so I we mean, went from what 20, 20, 20, What was it before? When hand thirty eight, like twenty three well, to fifteen look. or something. At, at thirty eight, it was twenty two to fourteen. So twenty two went up to thirty two. Thirty two. That went up ten. That and one up 14 to, went up to 17. That only went up. That's three. only three. That's plus seven right there, baby. If you wow, look at cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> yeah, that, that's plus seven there. So that was a good one. Okay, um, what's happening with those other disparities? You know, again, hand uh, 50. Again, uh, T1 went to 18, and then we have uh, 24. So getting a little bit apart there, a little bit of disparity. Um, T, uh, uh O3 and T3, uh, 26 to 21, so a disparity of five. But still, the big but winner is O1 and T1. That's right. So so the O3, T3 got closer. Yeah, okay? that's right. Yeah. So, again, if we had just paid attention, if just we were watching in this particular shoe, the O1 and T1 yeah. should sing. Okay, that's right. you wouldn't see it in banker and player. No, there's no, no evidence this. in banker. And, and it wouldn't necessarily, it wouldn't be going opposite, 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 opposite. You know, it would be going like this, you know, and you wouldn't right. know when to make the bet. That's okay. Right. Um, you know, let's in out at hand 50. What's the, the, did we, did we, the V87? Uh, the V87, we, we're certainly getting a lot of one stay one. Uh, although on banker, we have 10. Uh, one went to two six times, so a little bit there. Two to two four times. Two went to three twice. Three went to three, uh, stayed three. Forgive me, uh, twice. Uh, uh, still no four in a row on banker. So right. watch that. Now we're getting a little bit more disparity on the one stay one uh, on the player side. We have eleven to five, so we're getting a little bit of a spread there. Uh, two stay two 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 went to three. Uh, pretty level set there. And again, three stay three and three went to four, two to one on that. So uh, again, we're getting a lot of one in a rows, one stay one uh, on player, which of course 
uh, validated by the O ones too, uh, you know, is certainly going to be your best bets uh, in this game, and it, it proved out. So yep, yep. Uh, well, let's show the complete game here. Here we went up the hand sixty. Everything pretty much held out. Uh, again, we had a, a, a disparity of uh, forty to nineteen on the O ones. <laughs> a, a banker and player. They they that's, stayed that's consistent. 20, that's twenty one yeah. difference. So, and what banker and player were what? They, they stayed pretty consistent. Thirty three to thirty here. Or, uh, forgive me, thirty one to twenty nine. Uh, you know, and uh, you know it was just uh, you know if you're tracking this, it's the O one and T one uh, was the one you wanted to watch. So. Hey, man, this is what we do all the time at Beat the Casino, Kevin. Isn't that right? I, I, I just want you to give me the – I'm just going to eyeball here. What, what's the player one stayed one? Oh, I've, yeah, that's uh, 16. 16, and, and yeah. how many times did it go to two? Only five times. So there's another great disparity. Verification. Oh. Verification yeah. of yeah. why we're getting so many opposites. Yeah. And they were happening more often on the player side than on the, the player. banker side. Yeah, and that's what you infer from that. And, and, and you know, it's – it's the last hand, but it, inf it you could see the evidence of it evolving. And, you know, that's what you're looking for. As it happens, uh, you see it. And, you know, one of the things I wanted to point out is, you know, in Baccarat, a lot of times things stay consistent, just like in Banker Player. They stayed pretty much level set the whole way uh, throughout this shoe. However, the other disparities uh, kind of just kept going and going and going. And so, you know, it's interesting. You have to look at more than just banker and player. You got to look a and, lot deeper. Uh, and on the bank side, Kate, uh, let's go back to the, the, the uh, V87 for a second. How many times did this two stay two? Two stay two, five, six times. And, and how many times, times did it go to three? It only went there two times. So ka ching ka ching yeah. You would have picked up a couple there and qualified some really good bets. And, of course, uh, you didn't really get an, an opportunity to bet opposite after three went to four because it only presented itself uh, uh, two times. So, uh, but of course, you know that that's an indication that look, man, this is kind of a choppy game. Kind of another validation of it. Things aren't going to four. Right, they only went to four. I think one time. And that one was time. Too. That's right. That's right. So, so a lot so of information. And in summary, Keith, what I want to say is this. Yeah. Okay. And we went through this quickly. Uh, with our membership, we played it hand by hand by hand by hand by hand. Okay. Yeah, of course. But what I'm saying and showed them, you know, well, how to make the decisions, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But the thing is, is that not every shoe is going to be like this. Everyone's no. going to be different. Yeah. But the Absolutely. key is, if you take the math and put some math in the game, simple math, addition and subtraction, yeah, right. comparison of a higher number to a lower number. You're going to start seeing in a lot of the shoes, you're going to find out what is winning that shoe. And many times you won't get it from just looking at the banker and player. No, you won't. No. You know? That's, and, and you got to look at it. You got to look deeper. You have to look deeper. You have to look deeper. You, you have, have to, to look deeper. Deep. And so, it's easy to look deeper. Yeah, it's, it is. It is. It, 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 you can learn to make these marks on your card. Yeah, and, you know, easy. all of them uh, for after each hand. In about, uh, you know, six to seven seconds, six yeah. to eight, we'll call it, you know, in the beginning, maybe it takes you 10 to 12, yeah. but you still got plenty of time to decide to make a, how valid or how, how good, if you want to qualify your next betting opportunity, how good is that? Is it a really good bet? If it's not, don't make it. Don't make it. Yeah, that's right. Bet less and bet more on your bets. So it's a great way to play. We do it all at beatthecasino.com, Kevin, don't we? <laughs> well, uh, sometimes I think we do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, thanks a lot. I hope everyone enjoyed our uh, our, uh, our our presentation here on uh, how to do your scorecard and combining uh, 4D with V87. So stop by and join us at Beat the Casino. Oh, what what are you supposed to say? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, what else? <laughs> Smash the subscribe button. That's right. So listen. Well, hey. More importantly, this is just one this is one morsel okay, yeah. of what, what beat the casino offers. This yeah. is real play. I've been doing it for 30 years. Okay. I know. And I look know. my gray hair. You probably can figure out, uh, you know, and I played at <laughs> casinos, not only all over the United States, but in many countries, um, you know, uh, uh, this is not something that I just came up with overnight or that yeah. beat the casino uh, endorses because, you know, um, yeah. we're saying to do it. Um, there's so much deeper, uh, people would come on the forum and they go, where do I start? Where do you start? That's <laughs> right. Here's well, the stuff right here on the forum. Where do I start? 
Where and of course, start? we point out, you know, go here, 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 you here, know, here, 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 and we all get to know each other. That's that's a good thing about it too. So we can't forget that. So get to meet all the players from all over the world, man. So well, listen, Kevin and Keith here from Beat the Casino. Until next time, we'll talk to you again soon. See ya. See ya.